Holly, I can understand you being reluctant about all of this. How can I give up that paper just like that? Now, listen to me. I'm speaking to you as your attorney and your friend when I say this is such a terrific opportunity that if you pass it up, you're going to regret it. Regret what? Losing something I have built up for years? Holly, if Western Publication takes over the journal, the journal is going to be in very good hands. And you, you are going to clear enough money to do whatever it is you want to do for as long as you want to do it. Maybe that's the problem. What do I want to do for the rest of my life? Losing the paper. It's all I have anymore. Without it, who am I? Somehow I just can't convince myself. Holly, I am only telling you what I think is best. You know, it confuses me that you seem to be 100% behind selling it. Do you see no downside at all? No, look, I do not want to push you into anything. What I'm suggesting is you listen to the people at Western Publication, what they have to say, all right? And as far as your future is concerned, you don't need me to tell you what a talented woman you are. Thank you, Russ. I know what you've been through how much you've lost, but maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is the time for you to turn it all around and start over again. Yeah, maybe it is. You know, most everybody goes through that. I certainly have recently. It seems to be the, the natural course of events, you know? And it is a blessing, believe me, to be handed this clean slate. I tell you what. If it will make you better, feel better, to have your lawyer tag along with you, I'll go to Chicago with you next week. I would be grateful if you came along. Does that mean you will talk to the people at Western Publications? Set it up. And thank you, Ross. Not a problem. In case I haven't told you lately, you are the best friend I have, or ever have had. Hello, Blake. Sweetheart, hello. Come, join us. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are the boys? <laughs> oh, Maida has them again. I'm, I was uh, doing errands all day. I was running around town like a mad woman. I'm, I'm here to just uh, get some takeout. Oh, I come on. my way out. Stay. Oh, no, no, I don't want to interrupt. No, please. You sit down. We're just having a business meeting. Sit down. I no. will go to Maida. Oh, Mom, Mom, please, please. Nothing would make me happier. I haven't seen the boys in days. So you sit. Relax. Holly, I will call you. Yes. Oh, they should be together. If ever two people in this world belong together, it's Ross and Blake. Talk to yourself often? And don't get me wrong. I do it myself. But I'm probably alone a lot more than you are. She's playing Cupid again. Oh, Holly? Well, sure. That's why she ran out of here. Yeah, she's... Obsessed with getting us back together again. I'm not surprised at that, are you? I mean, after all that's happened to Holly and recently her, her marriage breaking up and everything, she just simply wants something better for her daughter. She's a little late, don't you think? After all, we are divorced. I have no rebuttal for that. We are. They'll probably buy the journal, and that'll be that. I reckon so. What? Nothing. It's just obvious that you love that paper. I do. So why are you gonna sell it? Because my lawyer says it's too good an offer to let go by. Ah, well, you just remember what old Willie Shake said. First, kill all the lawyers. <laughs> well, I am impressed. Why? I didn't take you for a Shakespeare kind of guy. Oh, yeah? You don't think cowboys read? No, I, I don't mean to offend you. Sorry. No, perfectly all right. No offense taken. None at all. So how are things at the farm? Well, it ain't in mint condition, but it's coming together. Well, Cassie is lucky to have you as her handyman. And uh, are you doing any more of that woodwork? When a notion strikes. Uh-huh. It was such a lovely box you made. Thank you. 
I still don't understand why you wouldn't let me pay you for it. And I don't understand why you didn't take it as a gift. But I guess you and me have different ideas about cash and what it can do for you. Huh? Huh. Well, it's, it's very nice talking to you. You are? Yes, I have to pick up Blake's boys. Well, it's real nice seeing you again, Ms. Reed. It is absolutely mind-boggling how quickly they grow up. I know. Pretty soon they'll be in kindergarten. Can you believe it? That is amazing. Maybe, uh, you... Well, Ross, would you, uh, <laughs> would you like to come with me and look for schools? You make the appointment. Tell me where and when. I'll be there. Okay, Blake. Don't read too much into this. He's talking about Kevin and Jason, not you. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is very civilized, don't you think? Yeah, I do. It's what people who are divorced and have children do. Apparently, yes. Children are important. That's what's important. Look, these boys will always be important to me. They'll always come first. I promise you that. She wants to forget what happened. And I have to accept that. I have to let her. You know what? I should be going. Uh, I promised Cassie I would help her out with RJ tonight. Oh, what's happening with you and Cassie? You are not embroiled in another scam, are you? What do you want? You want the truth, or shall I make something up real quick? Surprise me. Tell me the truth. <laughs> so she feels that if Reva thinks she's sick, then Reva will come home. That's it? That's the plan thus far? Thus far, that's the plan. Okay. Well, at least it's not illegal. No, no, no. Not illegal. It's just a tiny little white lie. <laughs> Careful of those white lies. Ross, mm -hmm. could you do me a favor? Yeah. There's a man sitting over there. Don't look, don't... His name is Sam Kershaw. The man I'm not supposed to look at? Yes. Okay. He works for Cassie out at the farm. I mean, he's out there all alone with her. And I have this very worried feeling about him. And Mom thinks he's like some throwback to the Old West. That's interesting. Yeah. Could you check him out? I mean, investigate him for me? May I look at him? Discreetly? Okay. No problem. Yes, sir. Okay, you owe me big time because you didn't tell me that bloodshed was going to be part of this deal. You never said you had to shed your blood. You were the one who was supposed to be sick, and you left the room. So when the intern came in, what was I supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't going to be the one responsible for Reva finding out you were faking an illness. I don't have to worry about that. Josh took care of it, right? Well, no more scheming. I should have learned my lesson when, when we got arrested at the airport. That was your fault. Do you remember that? Oh, whatever. At least I didn't have to give up a kidney. Oh, gosh, Josh makes me so mad. Don't worry about Josh, okay? Just let's order, because I'm starving. You know, if he thinks that I'm just going to stop worrying about Reva just because he told me to stay out of it, he's wrong, you know? What if they never find the prince's child? What if there is no child? What if he tries to get her to stay there forever? I mean, I just... I just want to talk to my sister so bad. I just wish I could talk to Reva, you know? Hello? Cassie, hi, it's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Sorry to disappoint you. No, I, I was just hoping that it, it was Reva. That, that's all. Did the plan work? Is she coming home? No, um... Josh kind of put an end to the plan. He, uh... He told Reva it was all a lie. He talked to her. Why would he do that? Because he said if the prince found out that I could put her in worse danger, so... I'm sorry. Um, listen, what are you, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Josh cut me out of the plan, and he told me to stay out of it, so... Well, I 
guess he probably isn't going to like what I have to say to you too much, then. What, do you have an idea? Oh, I, I do. I definitely have an idea. Uh, I just need to work out some of the details. Details? What do you mean, details? What's going on? Well, uh, right, so I'll call you back later. Okay, great, bye. Hey. Thanks. You're welcome. What did we just say about not scheming? Hmm? Look, I, I am not going to sit around here and just worry about my sister and do nothing because Josh told me to. All right? I, I have no idea what Michelle has in store, but it's a heck of a lot better than waiting around for Josh to call me and tell me what's going on. Kathy, right? just relax, all right? Because you're going to drive yourself insane. It's just not going to help. Oh. Hey, hello, you two. Mom. Sweetie. Russ. Hello. Listen, I'm glad I found you. I'm going on a business trip to Chicago. Business? What? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Western Publications wants to talk about buying the journal. You're going to sell the journal? I haven't decided. He's advising me. Oh, wow. That's great. That's great. Why don't you join us for coffee? We're just going to talk over the details. No, no, no. You guys, um, you guys talk. Um, we'll do it another time. Yes. Yes, another time. You know, your mom is really lucky to have Ross, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's been there for her for a long time. Actually, he's, he was there for her long before he was there for me. <laughs> what do you mean? I've told you their history. <laughs> they almost got married. Your mom and your ex? What, do you think they're getting back together or something? No, 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 I mean, no. That, that, that part of their life is, is gone. Uh-uh. And what do you have that look on your face for? It's just that since things with Ross and me, they, they haven't turned out so well. Um, I just can't help but wonder what would have happened to Ross and my mother had I not come along. Close enough. I forgot to tell you that I got the court order that temporarily suspends your probation so long as you're doing business in Chicago, so you're all set. Okay. I hope you haven't exhausted all your influence. No. All the scrutiny and red tape. Traveling isn't the fun it used to be. Are you nervous about this trip? No. But did you mean it when you said you would go with me? Well, yes, of course I did. I mean, this is a big decision you're making. If it helps for me to be there, I'll be there. Thank you, and I would like to take you up on that. Mm -hmm. Please do. Did you give this treatment to all of your clients? No, uh, you're just going to Chicago with your friend. Your friend just happens to be a lawyer, that's all. Lucky me. Yeah. You know, we might have time after the meeting. We could do something else, take in a Cubs game or something. Okay. Why don't we ask Blake and the boys to come with us? Be fun. No, I don't think so. It's not your fault, you know, that Ross fell out of love with your mother and fell in love with you. No. It's not your fault. It had nothing to do with falling in or out of love. See, Ross and my mother were happy. They were going to get married, and I had this very large chip on my shoulder, and I decided that my mother was to blame for everything bad that had happened to me in my life. So I uh, wanted to punish her by taking away the man that she loved. You stole him away on purpose? Yeah, I wanted to see her suffer. Doesn't sound like you. Well, I was a very different person back then. You know, I just used people constantly. And I didn't care about anybody by myself. Well, you guys have seemed to get past it. Yeah, finally. But, but I think it's always going to be there between the two of us. It was a long time ago. And believe me, if Ross and your mother were, were meant to be, you would have never been able to break them up. <laughs> never. You didn't see me in action. I mean, picture the same scheming ba Blake that you know and love, and I use my powers for evil instead of good. Hey, I used to be the main attraction at Teaser, so I have some things in my past that I am not a, exactly proud of. I know. I live with mine every single day. But when I see how good Ross and my mother are together, I can't help but think that I never gave them a chance. Kevin and Jason would love a trip to Chicago. Why don't we go for it? Holly, I know what you're doing. Don't go there. Just leave it alone. What's the matter? Aren't you a baseball fan? 
We both know that this is not about a baseball game. Once again, you're trying to get me back together with Blake. And if I am, is that a bad, bad thing? Yes. We are divorced. We are no longer married. Blake and I are friends for the sake of the children. That's all we are. But it's obvious to me that you two are still in love with each other. It's not as simple as that. Of course it is. You just toss out your pride and you tell her how you feel. Could we please not discuss this? I mean, no offense, but you don't know what you're talking about. Our relationship is in the past, all right? Too much has happened. We've done too much to each other. We've said too much to each other to ever go back. I don't think it's ever too late to go back. Holly, if Blake and I ever got back together, it would simply mean more pain and more heartache for both of us. I've hurt Ross so many times that, oh, putting me in a stable marriage is like giving matches to a pyro. I mean, sooner or later, something's bound to blow up. So, um, I don't think I could live with myself if I hurt Ross again. Sounds like you learned a very important lesson. No, I haven't, but Ross has. He'd be a fool to come back for more. I don't blame him. So, I think he's right. I mean, oh, yes, we should be friends. What, what about the bathtub? It's the last hurrah. And that's what you want. You just want to be friends. No, of course not. But it's what Ross wants. That's what's best. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, you two. Yeah. Margaret. Yes, yeah, Blake. Cassie. Hi. I'm glad to find you. I... How are you, Margaret? <laughs> Do you know your doctors have been looking all over for you? I mean, you left the hospital in, in so quickly. I, I can explain that. Well, it doesn't matter now. It's just that your test results came back, and we thought you'd be happy to know that we figured out what's wrong with you. Um, see, there must be a mistake, because I'm not sick. That's right. That's right. You are not sick. But you are pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. There's no way I, I, there's no way I could be pregnant. I uh, mean, it, it, it's, it's impossible. Apparently not. I know I'm telling you. I mean, oh. I, maybe your test is wrong. No, nope. the tests are very conclusive. Of course, you can always take another minute when it won't do any harm. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, well, okay. So why don't you stop by my office tomorrow? I'll be there. Okay. And meanwhile... Try and take it easy. Is there something you haven't told me? Mm -hmm. There's no way I could be pregnant. I haven't been with anyone since Hart, and that was even way, way, way before he passed away. I mean... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. I gave the blood. That was my test. Oh, my God. I know when that's pregnant. Oh, my God.